Thank you, Mr. Chair. And bef before I speak about the amendment I filed, I would like to thank you and Senator Carper as well for your leadership on this bill and, of course, the rest of my colleagues that have provided valuable input. This is a really great bill, so thank you very much for, for doing this. My amendment, Ernst Number 1, strikes from the Substitute Amendment Section 1401, which authorizes $1 billion in grants for charging and fueling infrastructure for electric, hydrogen, and natural gas vehicles. And bottom line, folks, I want to make clear uh, that I do support an all of the above energy approach, and I don't have any issue with these fuels or technologies, but what I do have an issue with is the fact that this section neglects to include biofuels, um, namely the blends of E15 and E85 and other advanced biofuel fueling technologies. I encouraged my colleagues on the committee to include biofuels in the program, but there wasn't enough support to get this provision in the bill we're considering today. If all emissions reducing fuels aren't going to be treated equally by this program, then my preference is to do away with the program entirely. Under current law, folks can claim a federal tax credit of up to $7,500 when they purchase an electric car. More than 80% of these tax credits are utilized by individuals with an adjusted gross income of $100,000 or more. Now we're going to have the federal government subsidize charging infrastructure for electric vehicles, which are owned in large part by high earners in coastal states, while at the same time leaving our corn and soybean farmers and biofuel producers on the sidelines. I'm not pushing for a vote on my amendment today, but I do plan to work with my colleagues to iron this out before the bill hits the floor. I think this program can be more effective if a broader range of fuels are eligible for this program. Thank you, Mr. Chair.